Hi, I'm Susan Kennard and my background is psychology and psychotherapy. And what I've noticed over the years is that there's a huge amount of stress that goes on in the world. And namely, what I really want to speak about today is the stress that goes on within schools. And I'm particularly looking at primary schools in the project that I've created. So I now work with energy. And what I mean by that is I work with helping people to de-stress. I work with, uh, I'm a trauma specialist, so I work with uh, early trauma. And what I've found is that I'm picking up the pieces of uh, teenagers and um, old, uh, younger adults that have experienced so much stress and uh, fear within their school situation that it has led to them making choices and um, some self-harm, some uh, making choices of, of not working and being really depressed. Um, and we know that you know there are many, many variables and reasons and dynamics why children and adults make these decisions and choices, um, how they de-stress you know, by cutting themselves or by um, just not being able to be fully functioning adults. But what I'd really like to do is bring something into primary schools. Now, what I want to introduce to you here on this video is my pilot study. Now, I have a hypothesis with my project, which is called 60 Seconds of Colour. I have a hypothesis that by bringing this into primary schools, we are able to do three things. Probably more than that, but these are my three main reasons for bringing it in. One is that teachers are de-stressed. The second thing is that uh, attendance goes up. And the third thing is that stats go up, meaning productivity, meaning the focus of children, meaning that children are not stressed, so therefore they're able to focus and concentrate more. And they're able to actually really remember the incredible beings that they are, the incredible light that they are. And also for, for, for teachers rather, to understand that the children that they're teaching are actually teaching them at the same time. And that's something that I think is really important. And I think, you know, schools and teachers get so stressed with trying to make sure that children reach a particular target. And I completely get that, you know, I'm speaking from the UK here in London, actually, my practice in London. And I completely get that, you know, we have to follow the stats. The government has said the stats have to be here. The um, attendance has to be here. The sickness level has to be here. But really, are we not missing the point? If we were able to start at grassroots, we were able to look at the causal reason of why stats are low, why attendance is low, and why sickness is high, especially in, in teaching staff, then we would be able to look at how things could change from the causal point rather than trying to put a plaster on it or trying to put rules in place where we have to have 100% attendance. And instead of coming from a place of let's look at why there isn't 100% attendance, we're looking at a place of let's get 100 and there's lots of fear and everything is driven by the stats. So what I'd really like to do in this video is to introduce you to my project called 60 Seconds of Colour. And that is where I teach teachers how to bring breathing and colour into their classroom situation. Now, my plan is 20 seconds three times a day. So 20 seconds after registration, 20 seconds after lunch, and 20 seconds before they go home. So essentially they put their hands on their heart, they close their eyes, they find a star in the ground and a star in the sky. So they connect the two together. As I said, they put their hands on their heart and they choose a color to breathe in for 20 seconds. So they breathe in through the nose and out through their mouth. And they do that three times a day. Now in the training, in the actual training that I'll be doing with the teachers in an inset day, I'll be talking about the research behind breathing, the research behind stress, and essentially how we can bring this mindfulness exercise, 60 seconds of color, into their classroom situation. So not, not only will they be benefiting from it, but also the children will be too. And as I said before, I have my three point hypotheses that things will change within a term of how stats will go up, attendance will go up, and the sickness will go down.
So these are the main points that I'm looking at. So I'm really excited about this. I launched this project at the European Energy Conference a couple of weeks ago. I'm talking to you at the end of November here. And I would just really like to hear your thoughts on it, to hear what you think about it, and see if you were really interested in coming along on a parents course, which is very similar to what I'm going to be teaching the teachers next year in Inset Days, but I would like you to come along to the parents course where I'll be teaching you the same processes for you to be doing with your children. But I'll also be teaching you some other things as well. So I'll be able to teach you all sorts of other ways of working with your children. And you don't have to do it 60 seconds. You don't have to do 20 seconds three times a day. You can utilise that in other ways. But for teachers, going back to the teaching and the reason why I created 60 Seconds of Colour is so that it's so easy for children to do and it's so easy for teachers to bring into their working day um, so that it's not taking any time away from them and it, in fact it will actually give them more time because if they're calmer they're more centered they're less stressed they're more connected to that inner guidance you know that part of us that really knows who we are, and that part of us that knows exactly what we need. So my website is susankennard.co.uk. You can find me on Facebook, you can find me on Twitter, you can find me on LinkedIn. LinkedIn. If you just put your ne my name in Google, you'll find me. And I'd really love to hear from you if you'd like to be part of understanding this pilot project, but also if you'd like to come on my parents' course, which is at the White Rock Hotel in Hastings on the 20th of January. So it's going to start your year uh, in a brilliant place where you're going to be de-stressed, your children, you're going to have the tools to help your children be de-stressed and therefore your 2018 is going to be a fantastic year. So much love to you all, talk to you soon and thanks very much for watching my video.